So I just recently got back from Egypt on a trip with my brother, and one of the dishes that we had there that I loved was koshari. It seemed like a pretty simple dish made up of elbow macaroni, noodles, lentils, uh, some rice, and then topped with a tomato sauce, some vinegar, fried onions, and chickpeas. So we're gonna try and recreate it. I'm going based off of a Reddit thread and a couple recipes that I found online. Alrighty, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is get a bunch of water going because I have like a million and one things that I've got to cook. So the noodles, I'm gonna cook all together. Okay, throw a bit of salt in there. I'm gonna start this boiling. Then I also am gonna get another uh, pot for the lentils. And we are going to rinse everything because you don't know where any of this stuff has been. I feel like an entire bag is probably too much. So I'm gonna do about a cup and a half of each. And it seems like the consensus is for this recipe to use uh, like a short grain rice. As luck would have it, I can't find, and I just spilled lentils on the countertop because I thought it was open on the other side. I'll have to clean that up later. So we're gonna rinse all the lentils. All right, so from what I'm seeing, about four cups of water. So there's about two cups. I'll do another two cups. And then now, I'm gonna move this. Well, I'm gonna cover it, and then we're gonna get these, bring it to a boil, and then reduce the heat to simmer it for about 15, 20 minutes or so. Next, I'm going to do the same thing, but with rice now. So I'm just gonna use a rice cooker because that sounds so much easier. This is our first time making this recipe, so who says we need to do it perfectly the first time? So we're gonna do about the same. We said one and a half cup. I'm gonna try not to spill the rice. And that's about one cup. Okay, so now we gotta rinse this rice. So we did one and a half-ish cups of rice. Now we'll do like a one-to-one -one for the water. And I know this is not short grain rice. The best I could do. All right, so we're gonna get this going. These bags are dangerous because I'm probably gonna drop them somewhere and make an even bigger mess than I already have. So I'm just gonna uh, cinch these up and put them over there. These noodles, I got protein noodles. I've never tried them before, but you know, I'm trying to make gains, so. We're gonna do eight ounces of the elbow noodles and eight ounces of the spaghetti noodles. We're just gonna go ahead and add the, add the noodles because it's just easier to go ahead and do it. All right, so we're gonna do, just kinda eyeballing about half. And then for the spaghetti, I know this is sacrilegious, but hear me out. When we had it in Egypt, it had spaghetti, but it wasn't like, it wasn't completely long. It was a lot shorter. So I'm gonna do something that I know many people will not like. Wow, that went everywhere. I highly recommend you don't do that in your own kitchen. That just sent spaghetti flying. Okay, but anyways. So get those spaghettis in there. And then Push these down, get that to boil again, because it looks like it lost some steam since we took it off the stove, and then cook those noodles. It's actually moving pretty quickly. I didn't know how long this recipe was gonna take, but it seems like we are just moving. Now I'm gonna start thinking about the sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up this onion. We're gonna do like four, so as I'm thinking about the sauce, we're gonna do the one onion, about four cloves of garlic, some coriander, red pepper flakes, tomato sauce, white vinegar. We're gonna smush. I 
feel like it's always hit or miss sometimes with onions, whether you get one that like peels easily or not. With all this boiling water, I'm like hyper aware of any sizzling sound because it makes me think that it's gonna be like boiling over behind me while I'm cutting stuff in front of me. But you know, we uh, live and learn. I almost poured out water on the floor. I'll be interested to hear, to see if you can uh, hear the sizzle behind me or not. Okay, to this. This onion looks like a little like green on the outside, so I don't know if that just means that not mature enough yet, ripe. Now we are going to throw this onion. Not yet, actually. There, we're just gonna set that to the side. I could also start cooking the chickpeas. So I am actually just gonna get the chickpeas going. Drain those bad boys. I'm gonna throw them in a little pan about yay big. Now that we've got this pan heated up a little bit, get the nice sizzle, I'm gonna throw in some olive oil. Onion, can't get it in. We're just gonna kind of hope for the best here. Actually, no, that's about a teaspoon. Oh nice, my cat is trying to eat the lentils that are on the ground. Put that pepper flakes in there. Put a little bit of spice. We're just gonna spread that around, spread out the love. Let me just take you on a tour of how busy my stove is right now. So we've got the onions and garlic right there that just put on. We've got the finished elbow and spaghetti noodles. This is very hot, but inside, inside is the lentils that have been worked on. Back there we have the chickpeas, and then there we have the rice. Lots of carbs. So now, we're just kinda waiting. Just letting the onions and garlic cook. Uh, what we're gonna do is, after the onions and garlic is finished, then we're gonna add the tomato sauce, some vinegar, some salt and pepper, and then that tomato sauce is gonna be good. We've got the fried onions because we have to go with store-bought because I ran out of pots so I can't make homemade. But next time, I'll make homemade. And then we will, once the lentils are done, we're gonna combine the rice and lentils and a little bit more of coriander uh, to make the base. Because then the levels of koshori are lentils and rice, noodles, and then all the toppings. So the tomato sauce, the onions, and the chickpeas all together. That's your perspective. So here is the onion and garlic. We're gonna go ahead and add in tomato sauce. And then now it's about one to two tablespoons of vinegar. And I like vinegar a lot. So we're gonna kind of estimate. All right, so this tomato sauce is pretty good at this point. Now I'm just gonna let this simmer on the stove over a very low heat. Now, I think the lentils might be done because I heard the timer go off. Actually, wait, nope, I lied. I was gonna add the coriander, but I decided against it because then if I drain any excess water, it might wash out some of the spice, the seasoning. Okay. Okay. Let me show you something for once now to here. So we've got the rice added now. I need about like a half teaspoon of coriander more. So I'm gonna get that to throw in so that when I mix it all up, just a bit more salt. Throw those lentils in there, and now we mix. 
This thing is still really hot. I don't know if you can see, but I've already kind of made a mess by spilling lentils and rice everywhere. That's not ideal. Okay, we're gonna move this off to the side. And now, at this point, it's pretty much just assembly. So, step one of assembly. Get bowl, put bowl on table or something. If you, you wanna hold it in the air, you can, but not advisable which is the lentils and rice that we just made. Be generous. We have made a lot. So act like it. Gotta find a way to grab the noodles out of here because everything is so freaking hot. All right, we're trying. I'm, try and I'm trying and failing at this point. Oh my gosh. Now we're gonna add in the sauce on top our chickpeas that have been going forever. Throw a bunch of crispy onions on, and voila. It's very beigey, very like, everything's like yellow. It's like the onions, the noodles, the chickpeas. But trust me, it's really good. This is an up close view. Very nice, very nice. This is gonna be so hot. It is incredibly hot, but it tastes kind of like I remember it. it. Tastes pretty good. 